Have you ever wondered how the military manages to strike where it hurts the most? What happens when a group of soldiers needs to land on a beach, facing potential enemy fire, and secure it for further assault? The answer lies in amphibious warfare, one of the most dangerous and rewarding military operations ever conceived. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the FNSS Zaha Marine Assault Vehicle, a true masterpiece of modern warfare technology that could change the way we think about amphibious combat forever. From its cutting-edge design to its role in the Turkish Navy's operations, this vehicle plays a critical role in delivering troops, equipment, and heavy firepower right to the heart of the enemy's defenses. Stay with us till the end and you'll learn why this machine is one of the most formidable players in modern naval assaults. The Zaha was unveiled in 2019 at the IDF military exhibition in Istanbul. From the moment it was revealed, the world took notice. This vehicle is not just another military transport. It is an amphibious assault powerhouse, specially designed for the Turkish Navy to facilitate beach landings during amphibious operations. Imagine this, a highly trained force of soldiers poised to take the fight to the enemy. But before they can do anything, they need to get past one of the most dangerous stages of any military operation, crossing the open waters and landing on the enemy's shores. Amphibious assaults are among the most perilous military operations. Soldiers face the threat of enemy gunfire artillery and a wide array of defensive measures from the moment they hit the beach. It's in these critical moments that vehicles like the Zaha come into play. They are not just vehicles, they are lifelines. They carry the soldiers, the ammunition, and the supplies necessary to establish a beachhead and push forward, bringing the battle directly to the enemy. The Zaha's primary mission is clear. Support amphibious assaults by delivering soldiers and supplies onto hostile beaches. This is not a simple task. The vehicle is specifically designed to be launched from offshore vessels like landing helicopter docks, LHDs, and then move at speed toward the shore, where it will discharge troops and equipment to fight. Just picture it. The vehicle cutting through the waves with incredible speed, its sleek body cutting through the water as if it were made for the sea while its powerful engine propels it onto the shore for a seamless transition from sea to land. What makes the Zaha special is not just its ability to operate in both land and water. It's the advanced design and technology behind its construction. The vehicle has a powerful diesel engine and an innovative powertrain, which allows it to maintain speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour on land. On water, it achieves speeds of 7 knots, a respectable figure for an amphibious vehicle. It's engineered with a special anti-corrosion coating to withstand harsh environments and is hydrodynamically sealed for smooth sailing in both calm and rough waters. Internally, the Zaha is designed for quick and efficient deployment. There is a crew of three, each with their own dedicated workstation. This includes the driver, who sits at the front left of the vehicle, the vehicle commander directly behind them, and the gunner at the rear. Together, they form a well-coordinated team ready to respond to any situation. The vehicle is also designed with accessibility in mind, offering multiple hatches for easy entry and exit, crucial during fast-paced, high-pressure operations. But while the Zaha's design is impressive, what really sets it apart are the defensive systems. It's equipped with a formidable armament, including a remote weapon station, RWS, that mounts a 12.7 mm heavy machine gun, HMG, and a 40 mm automatic grenade launcher, AGL. These weapons allow the Zaha to engage enemy positions from a distance, taking out light armor, suppressing infantry, and even engaging low-flying aerial threats. This makes the vehicle not just a transport, but a fighting machine capable of supporting the assault on multiple fronts. Protection is just as important as offense, and the Zaha delivers here too. Its armor is designed to protect against small arms fire, artillery spray, and certain landmines and IEDs. This means the vehicle can keep going, 
even in the heat of battle, providing protection for its crew and the troops on board. Additionally, the vehicle is equipped with smoke grenade dischargers and a smoke generating system, giving it the ability to create a defensive smoke screen that helps it avoid enemy fire and retreat if necessary. The Zaha's role isn't limited to being just a personnel carrier. There are variants of the vehicle designed to serve other vital roles. For example, the Command Post CP version is equipped with additional communications equipment and is intended for tactical command and control in the field. Meanwhile, the Armored Recovery Vehicle ARV variant is designed to recover damaged or disabled vehicles, ensuring that the assault force remains operational even if things go awry. The Turkish Navy has placed its trust in the Zaha, planning to acquire a total of 27 units. Out of these, 23 will be standard troop carriers, while the remaining four will be divided between the command post and armored recovery variants. This fleet will be a significant boost to the Navy's amphibious capabilities, enabling them to perform rapid, coordinated assaults with greater flexibility and efficiency than ever before. The capabilities of the Zaha go beyond the battlefield. Its design, built to operate in both land and water, makes it a perfect example of the hybrid military vehicle of the future. It's not just about getting from point A to point B. It's about overcoming obstacles, adapting to different environments, and delivering devastating strikes where the enemy least expects it. The Zaha is a symbol of modern military innovation and tactical brilliance, and it shows just how far technology has come in changing the way wars are fought. The FNSS Zaha Marine Assault Vehicle is more than just a machine. It's a game changer in the world of amphibious warfare. With its impressive design, advanced technology, and robust performance, it is a key asset to the Turkish Navy, ensuring that they have the tools necessary to launch successful high-speed beach assaults, and carry the fight to the enemy with maximum impact. If you found this exploration of the Zaha as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Share your thoughts and any questions you have about the Zaha or amphibious warfare in the comments below. We love hearing from you. And remember, we have plenty more exciting content coming your way. So stay tuned and keep watching. Until next time, keep exploring keep learning, and never stop discovering the fascinating world of military technology.